listen to the word of the Lord and we are going to pray. Our prayer tonight is that the Lord God Almighty should protect us from any curse words, any curse words, any negative words that are being released against us. Many times people, for whatever reason, releases curses against us. For the church of Satan, every Friday when they meet in their covens, in their gatherings, in their camp, or their high places, one of their assignments and agenda on their calendar is to release curses against their enemies. Witches also do that. They meet in their coven and project curses. And then we have people who, for whatever reason, they feel you have offended them. Some people feel you have offended them by something you did and therefore have cursed your life. There are people too, because of enviness and jealousy, they will curse your life. There are people, you've done them nothing. You've done them nothing, but they hate you for no reason and therefore they will curse you. There are people too who release a curse against you. They don't know you from Adam. They have no dealings with you. They have never even met you. But somebody will contract them. Somebody will give them a contract. Somebody will take your picture to them. Somebody will take your name to them. Somebody will take something that belongs to you to them and say, you know what? I don't, I, I, you sorcerer, you witch doctor, you wizard, you, you, you psychic, you shaman, you spiritualist. I want you to curse this woman for me. I want you to curse this man for me. Uh, I want a position, but he's a threat. Uh, because of him, I'm not getting that promotion. So curse him so that they'll get rid of him. Curse him with a sickness. Curse him with madness. Curse him with anything that will get him off that job so I can get that promotion. A person, a woman, a mistress can take you to a sorcerer, to a voodoo priest, a voodoo priestess, and say, you know what? I'm interested in this man. He loves me. We are, we are, we are, we are, fornic we are committing adultery. We are, he's cheating on the wife. But I really want him for myself. I want to marry him. But he's always giving me the excuses. You know my wife. You know I'm married. You know I have a wife and have a family. So can you get rid of this woman? Can you kill her? Can you take her out of the scene? Once he's dead, this man will marry me. And then I'll become the queen. I'll take over the house and everything. So people will take you on and curse you for different reasons. They will curse you for hating on you. They will curse you because they don't like you. They will curse you because they, they feel you've offended them. Curses are always going on <laughs> everywhere. So if you don't know how to pray and you don't know how to cancel curses, you are in trouble. That's what the Bible makes us to understand in Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every word, every tongue, every tongue, every curse words, every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you have the power to condemn it. And he says, thou shalt condemn. He says that no weapon. For the weapons that comes against you, God will protect you. But for the curses they release against you, you have to condemn it. You have to neutralize it. You have to reverse it, revoke it. You have to cancel it. If you don't cancel it, the next minute you will become a victim. The next minute your marriage is being shut down because of a curse. Your finances is being shut down it's because of a curse. Your ministry is being shut down because of a curse. Your health, they can shut down your health. The next minute you are dying because of cancer, because of a curse. The next minute you are losing your marriage because of a curse. Somebody has released a curse. Please get a book, get a book. Freedom from Generational Curse and Stronghold. In this book, I deal with curses. We have different levels of curse, and I'm only dealing with one. We have self-imposed curse, occultic curse, parental curse, disrespecting curse from parent curses that comes upon you because of negative ways, curses that comes upon you because of evil covenant, spousal curse, curse of the land, curse of building, witchcraft and satanic agent curse, curse from your enemies, Curses from evil voices and abuse. Curse object, generational iniquity curse, transgressional curse, a whole lot. So we are just dealing with one. Curses from satanic agent. Enemies. People who don't like you. People who don't hate you. And it is all, it, it's just because you are a threat. Somebody feels you are a threat and 
Therefore, you must go down. And you better fast and pray. You better break it. Or the next minute you are out. The Bible says, join me as we go to Exodus um, Numbers, Numbers chapter 22. Numbers chapter 22. If you don't deal with these cases, I'm telling you, something that is a, a beautiful marriage will begin to experience divorce and separation because a curse, somebody has cursed your marriage that your marriage will never hold. Your marriage will never work. Your marriage will never last. And they're waiting. And but So when you are beginning to complain, oh, my marriage, oh, my husband, oh, confusion, Somebody, somebody is saying, yes, I said it. I cursed her. That her marriage will never... Somebody can curse your womb. You can never be pregnant. Somebody can curse your life and say that over their dead body, that you, you will succeed in any man marrying you. You will never... They have cursed that you will never be married to. No man will marry you. No man will marry you. So it doesn't matter hundred women who come around you. You go through the same disappointment because there is a curse over your life. But today... In the name of Jesus Christ, as we wait upon the Lord today, somebody, a curse that has been spoken over your life, a curse that is operating against you, I command that curse to be broken in the name of Jesus. I command any curse that is causing you to be sick to be broken. Any curse that is causing you to experience hindrances to be broken. Any curse that is causing defeat and failure, everything you try is not holding, it's not working, nothing is Nothing is prospering around you. May that curse spoken over your life be broken. Be broken. Be broken of your life in the name of Jesus. May the God of mercy today bring deliverance to you and break the curse. How come you are so smart, intelligent? You have your degree certificate, but you can't get a job because there's a curse that says you'll never make it. Somebody would have cursed you that you'll never finish your education. Somebody if cares to you that you never know, you will never experience peace in your marriage. But today, in the name of Jesus, let every negative words, let any curse words, let every evil verdict, let every evil pronouncement, let every evil declaration, let every evil decree, let every evil decree, let every evil edict, let every evil command, let every evil words spoken over your life be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. In the name of Jesus, let the curse on your life be broken. Any curse that is holding you back, any curse that is delaying your star, your destiny, I command the curse broken. Break in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance even today, right now. Amen and amen. Your fasting is not in vain. You better believe it. We are not here to joke. We are not here to joke. Numbers 22. Numbers 22, verse 7. It says, so the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the diviner feast. Diviner feast. <laughs> the diviner feast. You see, the enemies of your against your life are serious. They understand altars. They understand spirituality. For them to even curse you out, they've gone to give money to the diviner. They've gone to give money to the witch doctor. They've gone to give money to the sorcerer. They've gone to give money to the psychic. They've gone to do give money to the voodoo priest or priestess, the shaman, the malabu, the sangoma, and say, sangoma, curse her for me. I, I give you this money, but get rid of this guy for me. It is only Christians who don't understand spirituality. It is well. It says, So the elders of Moab and the elders of the Midian departed with the divinest feast. Divinest feast. Their sacrifice. We are giving you a money to destroy these people for us. And they came to Balaam, the false prophet, and spoke to him words of Balak. And said to them, Lodge here tonight, and I'll bring back words to you. As so, so here, somebody is contracting a contract. They are, your enemies are going to a higher source of power to bring you down, to pull you down, 
to destabilize your life, to frustrate your life, to cut you off so that they will rise, so that you go down and therefore defeat you. So they go to this sorcerer, diviner, false prophet, and say, curse these individuals for me. But unknown to them, these Israelites had a covenant with God. That's why it's important, imperative, crucial, vital, paramount that you know Jesus. It's very important that you know Jesus and you hold on tight, hold on tight to the Lord Jesus. Because I'm saying, there is so many people, can you say you have not offended somebody? Can you say that you, you have never offended anybody? You are always saying that people have offended you. So don't you think that you, think you too, you have offended somebody or somebody think you've offended them or somebody don't like you? Do you think everybody likes you? Don't be fooled. Not everybody loves you. And somebody hates you enough to release a curse to destroy you. Or somebody is jealous and envious of you enough to curse you that whatever thing you feel, you think you enjoy today, you lose it tomorrow. That's what they are cursing us with. That you think you are married today, I'm cursing you that today, you, tomorrow you lose that marriage. You think you have a job today, I'm cursing you that you lose that job. Today you are riding in a, 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 a car and, and you have a house. I'm cursing you that your, you lose that house and your car will be repossessed. Today you are in, in, in good health. So you are, you are showing off your beauty and showing off your your, 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 your stuff. But I'm cursing you with a sickness. Enemies cursing us. And here, they were cursing Israel. Why were they cursing Israel? Because they were cursing them because they, they said, these people, if you go to uh, verse 6, if you go to verse 6, Exodus chapter, what do I, do I keep on saying Exodus? What's going on? Numbers 22, Numbers 22, verse 6, Numbers 22, Numbers 22, verse 6. Therefore, please come at once. They are calling a higher power to come at once and curse this people for me. Curse this woman for me. Curse this man for me. Curse his, his, his children. They are making on our rule. Curse, curse, curse her marriage. Curse her. Curse her. Curse her job for me. Therefore, come at once and curse these people for me. For they are too mighty for me. They are too what? Mighty. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that whomever you bless is blessed and whoever you curse is cursed. These people are so powerful. I've seen how they are taking over territories. I see how they are conquering other nations. I see how they are expanding and multi multiplying and doing exploit. I don't want to confront them in warfare. But you know, I'm presenting to you some sacrifices and I'm coming before your altar. I can't compete with him at work. He's too smart. He's too intelligent. He has all the credentials. If an opportunity comes today, they are going to give it to him. He has more experience than me. I just came a few years, a few months, but I desire that position. My eyes is on that position. I need that position because it's going to be very lucrative. It's going to be very rewarding. They are going to give me so many incentives. I'm going to get a, a lot of um, bonuses. It is very, very good. I can't afford to miss this position. Please curse this guy out. Curse, curse him out. Curse him. Whatever. If he has to be mad, let him. If he has to be sick, let him. If he, if he has to die, let him die. But I want him out of the picture. I need that job. Somebody, your marriage is going through attacks. A woman was almost going to die just because a mistress, somebody the husband was cheating on with, said, I need this woman dead so I can take her place. Do you know the level, the wickedness of this world? And you are just walking about, you don't want to pray. You are just walking about eating monkey donut to donkey donut. You don't want to fast. 
We say fast, you don't want to fast. We say pray, you don't want to pray. Be serious with Christ, you don't want to be serious with Christ. Live holy, you don't want to live holy. You want to be reckless and careless with your Christianity. Look at what they are doing to you. The current state of your sickness is not ordinary. Somebody is cursing you out to die because they are envious of you. You see what you used to have. The blessings the Lord bless you with, but you were not vigilant. You were not vigilant. You were careless with your Christianity. You were not prayerful. Today, they have cursed your marriage. What are you experiencing? Confusion, misunderstanding. Joy has left that marriage because somebody cursed that marriage and released confusion, released conflict between you and your spouse. Could you imagine the things your husband used to do for you? Take you for here to, and in your ignorance, you were telling the whole world in social media platforms. You were not prayerful. Instead of praying, you were advertising your blessings and they cursed it. Today, everything that is good in your life is turning to sore. It's turning to bad. Becoming ugly. Because somebody released a curse. But today, God is going to reverse the curse. So, there are people who are cursing us. But the Bible says, so now they, they employed Balaam the prophet. They have employed different shamans, employed witches who are cursing us left, right, center. Today, if you want to live a significant life and make impact, you better know how to pray. You better, you better, you better know, you better know spirituality. Otherwise, you'll be displaced. You'll be destroyed. Just like that. You'll be rising today, tomorrow, you are no more. That is the nature. We have, we are in a very competitive world. A very competitive world competitive world in every front in every front you think you are married every one for every man there are 10 women that are eyeing that man because the ratio of men to women there's shortage there are fewer men as to the women that can marry to them so for every one man there are 10 women who are eyeing that same man so even though my husband is there, my husband is that. My husband doesn't do this for me. My husband, please, 10 women are waiting for you to mess up. 10 women are waiting for you to be careless so that he divorce you or you divorce him and jump on board because they haven't, they've never married. They want to also try it. So even, even, even if it is bad, they want to even at least try it and also claim that I've been married before. Because for every man, there are 10, ten women who are eyeing what you think is a bad marriage. Play games and somebody would snap. The day you are divorcing, another woman is getting ready. <laughs> they are already, they are, they are on the waiting line, waiting queue, just for you. Mess up. Oh, yeah, yeah, so keep on. If we say pray and you don't want to pray, go ahead. If we say fast and you don't want to fast, go ahead. Keep on eating the monkey donut and donkey donut. Keep on taking it easy. Today you have a good job, so you are relaxed. Oh, you know, Reverend Kia, because of my job and because of this, so you know, you know, so you are blessed. And now the blessing has become an obstacle to your prayer life, has become a, an obstacle to your relationship because of work. You have no time to read your Bible. Don't worry. Don't worry. Keep on being busy. Keep on being so busy that you don't have time for Jesus. Very soon, you have enough problems to look for Jesus. Why don't you make time for Christ? Why don't you make time to read your Bible? Why don't you make time to pray? Daniel was busy than you and I put together, commanding different provinces. And yes, three times a day, Daniel will kneel down, face the east, and pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You, what do you have? What do you have? Daniel was ruling emperor. He was, a, he, he was part of the province of an emperor. It wasn't a nation. It was nations. Nations. Still, he made time to pray three times. You, what do you have? What, what do you have? What do I have? And yes, you have all the excuses in this world. Why you don't want to read your Bible? Why you don't want to pray? Why you don't want to spend time with God? Because you think you are busy. And therefore, in your busyness, and the devil wants you to be busy. In fact, the devil doesn't care if they give you more hours and they give you more money and you are so busy and you can't pray because he knows that one attack, it will bring you from ground up there to ground zero. September 11. Whatever you built, they will crash it down and reduce you to nothing. So keep on being busy. Let us be vigilant. Be vigilant. 
Be vigilant. Open your eyes and pray. For somebody is eyeing you. Somebody is, is watching you. Seeing how they can catch you and bring you from your high position. So don't play games. They don't sleep. So why do you have to sleep? They don't. They are busy. Look at somebody going to give, bribe, money. Giving huge sums of money to a prophet, a false prophet, a, a sorcerer, a diviner. That I'm giving you this money. Cares her for me. And you you are eating and drinking. Taking it easy. Watching soap press and watching. Browsing social media. Wasting your life. While somebody is cursing you. You got to wake up and be serious with your Christianity. But before this guy could curse him. Curse the Israelites. The Israelites were at that time connected. You see. The curses will not only work when you are serious and connected to Jesus. <laughs> connected to who? Jesus. You are hiding in the secret place. You are hiding what? In the secret place of the Most High. And under the shadow of the Almighty, you are hiding. You are hiding. You are hiding in the secret place of prayer. Secret place of prayer worship secret place of his word secret place of living right for him secret place of serving him and that is when when they come after you they'll release the curse they'll release the demons they'll release the it will it, it, it will just rub off your shoulders and and go it will bounce off you the curse will bounce off you it will hit you and go away and return back to the sender because you are hiding so now hear what god had to say and I'm praying that God says that about you. I'm praying that God says that about you today. I'm praying that God, because you are fasting, because you are praying, because you have come to a secret place, may God say this to your enemies. And what this is what God says to those who wish you dead, those who wish you destroyed, those who wish you to fall, those who wish you disgraced and humiliated, those who are wanting you dead. They wish you dead. They wish you death so they can write rest in peace. They want to hit you with some sickness that will put you on the sick bed for months, dying slowly. But God is on our side. Say, God is on my side. God is on my side, so I will not perish. God is on our side. That's why I'm encouraging you, take Jesus seriously. Take Jesus seriously. Take Jesus. Take your Christianity seriously and hold on to Jesus. And he will save you from thy enemies. And God said to Balaam, you shall not go with them. You shall not go with them. Don't, don't listen to these foolish, stupid people. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to their nonsense. Don't curse these people. They are mine. <laughs> they belong to me. You have the power to destroy others, but not these ones. These are the untouchables. These are Christians. These are believers. These are people who serve me. These are people who are living for me. You cannot waste their lives. And God said to Balaam, you shall not go with these people. You shall not curse the people for they are blessed. You shall not curse these people. And today I pray that because you carry the blessing. That's why yesterday we prayed about the blessing of God upon our lives. And that we are walking in divine favor. Because of the blessing, you cannot be cursed. Because of what? The blessing, you cannot be cursed. Because of the blessing, you cannot be cursed. Because of the blessing, you cannot be cursed. I am too blessed to be cursed. Can you write that? Can you say that? I am too blessed to be cursed in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Let them say all the curses. Let them release all the projection. Let them release all the spells and charms together. I am too blessed to be cursed. I'm too blessed. Can you say that? Can you say it to yourself? Don't be looking at me. Please speak up in the name of Jesus. 
don't be staring at me. Say to yourself, I am too blessed to be cursed. I am too... I, I, I am too blessed. I cannot be cursed. I am too blessed. I cannot be cursed. I am too blessed. You cannot curse me. You cannot destroy me. I am too blessed. You came too late. You came too late. Satan, you came too late. Demons, you came too late. I am too blessed. It doesn't matter how much money they gave to you. <laughs> I am too blessed. You can't curse me. Your witchcraft will not work. Your divination will not work. Your sorcery will not work. Your enchantment will not work. Your spells will not work. I am too blessed. I am too blessed. I'm a child of God. I'm too blessed. I'm redeemed by the blood. I am too blessed. I cannot be cursed. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. You cannot curse my marriage. You cannot curse my son. You cannot curse my education. You cannot curse my life. I'm too blessed. The Lord has blessed me. And I'm walking in his blessing. And I'm walking in his favor. You cannot reverse it. I am too cursed. I'm too blessed. I'm too blessed. I'm too blessed. I'm too blessed to be cursed. And for that reason, I can say no weapon. <laughs> no weapon formed or fashioned against me shall prosper. It shall not prosper. I'm sorry. It shall not prosper. I'm sorry. Please go and tell that witch. I'm sorry. It will not prosper. Go and tell that witch doctor. I am sorry. It will not prosper. Go and tell that shaman. It shall not prosper. Go and tell my haters. Yes, I have haters who hate me so much and want to see me fail. But go and tell them they are too late. I'm too blessed. I'm too blessed. They have been wishing my downfall. They have been wishing my demise. They have been wishing my destruction. But I am too blessed to be cursed. That is God's word for you. You are too blessed. They have released arrows of sickness into your body to take you out. But you are too blessed to be cursed. You are too what? Blessed to be cursed. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. That sickness will have no impact or effect in your life. You are going to come out of that sickness because you are too blessed. That sickness will not claim your life. That sickness will not destroy you because you are too blessed. Somebody, they are attacking your marriage because of a curse, but you are too blessed. That curse will not stand. Your marriage will stand and your marriage will be restored. They are attacking you at your workplace. They want you to lose your job. They want to frustrate you until you yourself you quit. And some of you, because of the curse, you are wanting to quit that job. But that curse will not prosper because you are too blessed. Today, let there be a reversal. Everything will turn and go to them. The curse returns back to the sender. In the name of Jesus, I am too blessed to be cursed. I am too what blessed. I am too what blessed. I am too blessed. So the cursing will have no effect upon my life. No curse has no effect on my life. No curse. In the name of Jesus, I'm too blessed. Do not go with them. Do not curse them. They are too blessed. <laughs> Whether the devil likes it or not, you are blessed. What can they do about it? You are blessed. And you are blessed because you know Jesus. You are blessed because you know Jesus. You are blessed because you have Jesus. You know Jesus. You have Jesus. And because Jesus lives in you, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I pray right now for you. Every curse that was spoken against you, every curse that was released against you, any curse that was issued against you, decreed against you, it is reversed. It is reversed. It is reversed. Are you ready to reverse some curses? Don't be... Ay, 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 ay. Begin to pray. We are going to reverse the curse in the name of Jesus. I am blessed to be cursed. First prayer. I am too blessed to be cursed in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that I am too blessed to be cursed. I declare and decree. Please, I'm not here for jokers. I am not here for fanfare. I'm here for serious people. I am here for serious people. I am here for serious I want to hear you pray. I am too blessed to be cursed in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and decree that I am too blessed to be cursed in the name of Jesus. Let up your voice and pray that prayer. I am too blessed to be cursed. I am too blessed to be cursed. I am too blessed to be cursed. I declare and decree that I am too blessed to be cursed. I declare and decree that I am too blessed to be cursed. I declare and decree that I am too blessed to be cursed. I declare and decree.
that I am too blessed to be cursed. In the name of Jesus, I am too blessed. I cannot be cursed. I am too blessed. I cannot be cursed. My son cannot be cursed. My daughters cannot be cursed. My husband cannot be cursed. My wife cannot be cursed. My marriage cannot be cursed. My children cannot be cursed. My health cannot be cursed. My body cannot be cursed. My job cannot be cursed. My education cannot be cursed. My loved one cannot be cursed. We are too blessed. I am too blessed to be cursed. I am too blessed to be cursed. I am too blessed to be cursed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rabba Sata Rabba Rabba Rabba. And then the next prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. I reverse every curse and turn it into blessing. I reverse every curse and I turn it into blessing. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every curse into blessing. I reverse, I turn every curse into blessing. I reverse every curse into blessing. I turn every curse into blessing. Every curse spoken over me, spoken over me, issued against me, decreed over me, proclaimed against me, decreed against me, prophesied into my life. I command every curse to be reversed into blessing. I reverse every curse into blessing in the name of Jesus. I reverse every curse into blessing in the name of Jesus. I reverse every curse. Whatever curse they spoke against me, let it reverse into blessing. Let it reverse into blessing. Let it reverse into blessing. I reverse every spoken words, negative words, curse words, evil words, destructive words, condemning words, evil words, spoken, decreed, spoken. Poking against me, I reverse it into blessing in the name of Jesus. Rabbat, I'm too blessed. I'm too blessed. I reverse. I reverse. <laughs> I reverse every case. 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 I turn every case into blessing. I turn every case into blessing. I curse every case. I turn every case. I reverse every case. Spoken over my life. Spoken over my wife. Spoken over some of the your life whatever case is hindering you obstructing you blocking you resisting you fighting you the curse is reversed in the name of jesus the curse is reversed into blessing in the name of jesus this week may you express favor this week may you express victory this week may you express breakthrough this week may you express a testimony for the curse over your head over your life is broken in jesus name our final prayer Our final prayer, Isaiah 54, verse 17. Isaiah 54, verse 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, judgment, judgmental cases, judgmental. People are judging you in their coven, in their high places, in their covenant. They are judging you. They are condemning you. They are criticizing you. They are releasing charges and condemnation against you. Leveling evil accusation. To destroy you, evil charges, evil condemnation, evil verdict against you, evil resolutions against you. But the Bible says that, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn it. In the name of Jesus, I condemn every curse, every evil condemnation, every evil judgment, every evil charges, 
any negative words, curse words spoken over my life, I condemn it. I condemn it for myself. I condemn it for my husband. I condemn it for my wife. I condemn it for my children. I condemn every negative words, every curse words, every judgment, every evil charges, every evil accusation, every evil lies, every evil smear, any evil thing that is being spoken against me. Every lies, people are spreading lies against you. And you are sitting down. People are spreading wrong, bad rumors, slandering your name. And you are sitting down. You got to condemn it. You got to condemn it. Any negative words, any case words, any judgment, any false accusation, every evil, slandering words, lying, gossiping, anything they are saying, whispering around against me, I condemn it. I condemn it. I condemn it. I condemn it in the name of Jesus. I condemn it now. Let it stop now. I condemn it. Final prayer. It's a week of blessing, a week of favor, a week of favor. Now listen to this. Psalms five verse twelve. Psalms five verse twelve. Psalm five verse twelve. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. The Lord will bless you. You are blessed. I want you to live yet knowing that you walk in God's blessing. No more curses. You, the, you Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, you will surround him as with a shield. You will surround him with your favor as a shield. Lord, bless me and favor me. Surround me with your favor like a shield. Lord, bless me and surround me with your favor like a shield. Lord, bless me and surround me with your favor as a shield. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me and surround me with your favor like a shield. Lord, bless me. Begin to ask the Lord to bless you because some people used to curse us now that we have been praying and fasting, the Lord must release his blessing upon us and begin to favor us. Begin to favor us. Wherever you go, you must begin to experience the favor of God, the victories of God, the goodness of God, the mercies of God, open doors, divine helpers, breaking through, getting testimonies, miracles, signs and wonders. Why? Because the Lord has blessed you and he has favored you. Lord, bless me and favor me. 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 Lord, bless and favor my job. Lord, favor and favor my career. Lord, bless and favor my ministry. Lord, bless and favor my marriage. Lord, bless and favor my education. Lord, bless and favor my children. Lord, bless and favor my husband. Lord, bless and favor my wife. Lord, bless and favor the works of my hands. Lord, bless and favor my business. Begin to ask the Lord to bless you and favor you. Bless and favor me, O God. Bless and favor me, God.
Jesus Christ, we pray. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord favor you. May the Lord answer your prayers. May the Lord reverse every curse spoken on your life and turn it into blessing. May any curse, any spells, any charm that was released against you be neutralized, nullified, broken, destroyed, dismantled in the name of Jesus. I speak the blessing of God upon your life and you are living today, living this platform with favor and everything that you do is blessed and favored of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Somebody if you can, sow into the Isaiah 54, verse 17. Because there's too many negative words being spoken against you, causing hindrances. Isaiah 54, verse 17. And condemn whatever is going on that people are saying against you. And then also tap into the Psalms 5, verse, um, Psalms 5, verse 12. That may the Lord... Turn every curse into blessing and favor you in the name of Jesus Christ. And then there was also um, the Numbers, Numbers, Numbers chapter 22, uh, connected to also Numbers 22, verse 12. Numbers 22, verse 12. And God said to Balaam, You shall not go with them, you shall not curse the people, for they are blessed. May the Lord stop your adversaries. May the Lord stop your enemies. Whatever they are saying against you, may the Lord stop them and mute their mouths, shut their mouths, mute their mouths, shut their mouths and turn their conspiracy against you into foolishness. And may the Lord vindicate you and bless you and favor you. Whatever they in intended evil against you by their case, may the Lord turn it into blessing. So, so a seed and you are connecting it to Numbers chapter 12, verse 12. Numbers chapter 22, Numbers 22, verse 12, Isaiah 54, verse 17. You condemn every tongue that has risen up against you in judgment. You condemn it in Jesus' name. And then Psalms 5, verse 12. Oh Lord, bless me. Bless me and surround me with your favor. Whatever situation you are going through, I'm telling you, God or reverse it. God will avert it, divert it, and reverse it. Avert it, divert it from you, and reverse it. And the Lord will give you a salvation. You know yourself what you are going through right now. Do as the Lord speaks or leads you. Go to the website www.freshfireprayer.com and you can raise your sacrifice. And also get a book. In this book, you'll get all the different cases and the prayer point as to how to break it. As you are fasting with us, I want you to be using this book during this season and deal with the root cause of many of our issues. Freedom from generational cases and stronghold self-deliverance manual. Go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com Purchase the book, raise your sacrifice, and may the Lord grant you her desire in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Join us at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S., 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m. Europe for our daily prayers in 